Welcome back. Well, we have Ro Kendall and Pat Mycone here on behalf of the Republican Club. Well, welcome both of you. Nice to see you. Oh, great Thank to see you, you too, Lisa. Lisa. Always. Thank you for uh, coming on, and you guys have a really big meeting coming up, and you've uh, managed to land our fantastic Orange County Sheriff, Don Barnes. And, uh, you know, he's always, like we said before, he's a great speaker. Mm -hmm. He's very passionate about what he does, and mm -hmm. I think that's why we have such a great Orange County and a very safe one. So yes. um, so before we begin, let's talk a little bit about the Republican Club and, you know, for those who don't know you guys, uh, what you do for them. Okay. Well, our, our main mission, Lisa, is to promote a wider knowledge of the Republican Party, the policies and principles of the party, and the Constitution, and that's key. We also want to encourage our members to be active in increasing voter registration, voter turnout for elections, and supporting our party nominees. It's mm -hmm. so key. Mm -hmm. And also, we want to keep them encouraged you know, during these tough times. It's, we enjoy getting together at all our meetings, and we have a great time. And hopefully, they come away encouraged and motivated to, to participate. Exactly. And that, and that really is key across the board, right? Mm -hmm. Is You just want people to participate. Yeah. We're doing great. We're doing great. We've got 355 members now mm -hmm. and increased our membership by 30% just last year. Great. So I think people are, are looking to be encouraged. Okay. And I'm proud of that. Excellent. Well, what's more encouraging than having Sheriff Barnes talk about all the different initiatives? So mm -hmm. what prompted you to have him come? Well, as we're this year, Lisa, is our building and strengthening year. And we, besides encouraging our members, we want them to feel fortified and equipped to be able to, next year, be involved in the elections. We had him a year and a half ago on November 21st. He came, our speaker at the last minute couldn't come, so I called his office and he came and wow. spent an hour with us. Nice. So, and at that time, I was, I just learned so much about him and we just want him back. We, with the crime surging in the United States now, right. um, I think it's time we get an update. Yeah. He's, he was doing a fantastic job in November 21, and mm -hmm. I'm sure he is now. Well, he has his hands full, none, you know, mm. so to speak, so he, yes. he's very busy. So let's talk yes. about some of the things that he's going to be addressing at the meeting. I mean, he's got a lot of initiatives across the board, yeah. uh, but what's going to be the most important thing for him to talk to our community about? I think that um, <clears throat> what's most important for us in our community is that we know that they're, they're, they're doing things, the, the, the community, and with the guidance of the sheriff and the district attorney, they're, um, they're showing us how to protect our people. Right. And we're talking about doing a town hall to raise some issues where people can protect themselves better also. Right. But as a community, we're pretty safe here. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. We're living yes. in a bubble. Yeah. Well, yeah, we, we are, but you know, we look at things that are close to home here in mm -hmm. Los Angeles, yes. not that far mm -hmm. away, right? right. But we, we know that um, who, who you just mentioned, the sheriff and the DA, are mm -hmm. upholding, uh, you know, at their end mm -hmm. to make sure that criminals <coughs> are prosecuted and they're, you make everybody feel safe. Yes. You know, knowing yes. that, okay, I can still go to the mall yes. and not be worried about somebody, yes. you know, robbing me. Right. And that's what we want to do. We want to affirm and assure them of his, as he's taking his responsibilities and his role so seriously. Right. I mean, when he said in that meeting a year and a half ago that while crime is surging in the United States, Orange County is not. Mm -hmm. Where there are his enrollment, his retention of policemen is the highest in the in the country. Right. I mean, where some um, departments can't keep their policemen, he mm -hmm. has 19, 2,000 yes. people right. trying to apply for jobs. Yeah. So that says a lot. Yeah, and uh, he says he he keeps crime down because he actually arrests criminals. I love mm -hmm. that. Right. Well, and that's what we hope for as a community, <laughs> right? I mean, we don't want to be worried about no. going out and about, especially if you are in a senior situation. Right. Um, you know, you may not have the strength and ability to fight some of them off, even though we might arm ourselves with, mm -hmm. you know, spray and mm -hmm. zappers and all these other things you just don't know, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't want to be too weighted down, right? <laughs> Your bag's getting heavier. Your bag is getting heavier. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So let's talk about the event. It's going to be your regular meeting that happens, yes. and it's going to be on May 5th, yes. and it is in Clubhouse 5. And, of course, yes. you have your social hour uh -huh. from 11 to 11.30, and then mm -hmm. the meeting itself is 11.30. Uh, well, is, how long is the actual meeting? Is he going to speak? 
Well, we start our meeting about 11, we start at 11.30 and we video all our meetings. So oh, if, if our members can't come, we, right. we post it on our website, we okay. send it out in an email. Um, so he'll speak from about 11.40 okay. to about 12.30 with Q&A. Oh good, because I was going to say, if yeah. somebody had questions they needed to yes. mail it ahead, like, do, should they send it ahead of time or just show up with they it? They can do that. Okay. Um, uh, oftentimes, we have so many questions from the floor, yes. we have to say no, one more question. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, I'm sure there is a lot of questions, especially yeah. in the frightening times when people are afraid they may ask more questions than not. So. Yes, yes. I, I really think that um, the liberal policies are turning, uh, you know, turning these, these, these terrible things that are happening. They're turning, uh, what did I put here? They're destroying the country that we knew when we grew up. Mm -hmm. And so it's important to understand the difference between a constitutional sheriff and a sheriff that maybe isn't so constitutional. Right. And that's why we're very blessed here because Sheriff Barnes is a constitutional mm -hmm. sheriff. Right. Now, you know, you're, you're, when we're on the show, we're talking to our peers. Yes. Right? But then when they, go, when they are not uh, in the village or they're having people visit, they might be a much younger a group, a different uh, generation. So, you know, how do you, what would you say to our uh, folks here who are residents? What should they be talking to their children about and their children's children? Well, I know that Sheriff Barnes, in his last talk on November 21st, he said, we need to teach our children about the Constitution. Constitution. We need to teach them about our rights, the Bill of Rights, because they're really not getting it in school. Mm -hmm. And I, I just think that's just great, great wisdom for him to give us. He also wants us to be vigilant about the bills coming out of Sacramento so yeah. we can voice our concerns. Yes. And, and, and that's what we, we, we want our members to be active in so that right. our voices, we're a representative republic government. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Let's take a look at the information. Okay. One more time. It's yep. going to be on May 5th, Clubhouse 5, starting at 11. Now, of course, if they want more information, they can always go to your website, yes. which is part of the Laguna Woods Village yes. website. So. At least an important thing is they can come for lunch or they can come and hear speaker only for $5. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> you can't get close enough to... Yeah. Don Barnes for five dollars. So that's, <laughs> that's perfect. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Lisa. All right. Thank you. And of course, if you want more information about the Republican Club or the meeting that's coming up on May 5th, one you don't want to miss, you can always go to the Laguna Woods Village website, type in Republican Club, and all the information will be there. We'll be right back.